W11 Studios, this is H-Town Rush. Today, all eyes are on Houston as George Floyd is laid to rest. This comes after a day of tributes as the public said goodbye. Many attendees told us that Floyd has changed the world. So this week, we've been asking you, if George Floyd was alive today, what would you say to him? We'll share some of your responses throughout the morning and please keep your messages coming. You can reach out to us on social media with the hashtag HTownRush. And we will have a timeline of today's events coming up for you in just a few minutes. For now, welcome to H-Town Rush. I'm Stephanie Simmons and we are so glad you're with us on this very important day for our city. Cheetah Craft, what do people need to know if they plan on being outside for the procession? Okay, well starting at 10, 11 o'clock, temperatures are going to be already pushing 90 degrees and our feels like temperatures by noon will be over 100 degrees by the afternoon heat index temperatures up to 112 so that's why the heat advisory has been issued and that is the case all across portions of southeast texas a really hot day ahead live look outside in kima notice the clouds in place that should also be an indication not only are we dealing with heat but really high humidity and that's why our heat index numbers are just so high so lunchtime today 93 with a feels like temperature of 100 this afternoon 97 with a feels like of 111 we'll talk about this really hot week ahead and when our next front arrives coming up in just a little bit Steph. cheetah thank you a final goodbye to the houston man who has changed the world today george floyd will be laid to rest next to his mother following a private funeral service. It follows an emotional day as the public got their chance to say goodbye. We have team coverage for you this morning with everything you need to know about today's service and the procession. Let's start with Janelle Fort live at the Fountain of Praise Church. Janelle, good morning. Good morning, Steph. Well, today's celebration of life for George Floyd is the conclusion to a string of memorial services for him throughout the country. Uh, it started in Minneapolis, it stretched to his birthplace of Rayford, North Carolina, and now here to Houston. And today he's going to be finally laid to rest just over two weeks since dying at the hands of Minneapolis police. Yesterday we saw just the outpouring of support for Floyd in that public viewing. And uh, today is expected to be the same. Today's funeral, it's limited to 500 people due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Each guest here today has been personally invited by the Floyd family. Organizers have told us that a handful of dignitaries and celebrities are confirmed to be here. Among them, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Congressman Al Green, Slim Thug, Paul Wall, and Floyd Mayweather, who's paying for the funeral services. Now, Reverend Al Sharpton will deliver the eulogy as he did at the memorial service in Minneapolis last Thursday. And then Dr. Rema C. Wright and Pastor Mia K. Wright of the Fountain of Praise Church are gonna give the life celebration salutation. A handful of others are also expected to speak, calling for justice and social reform, including the family's attorney, Ben Crump. So again, today's service is by invitation only. It's private, but we will have cameras inside and we'll be live streaming it across KHOU 11 platforms. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. Janelle, thank you. And after the service wraps up, there will be a procession from the church to Houston Memorial Gardens in Pearland where Floyd will be laid to rest. The public is allowed to line up along the route to watch it. Our Michelle Choi joins us live with what you need to know. Michelle, good morning. Hey, good morning, Steph. Take a look at all these barricades placed along the procession route here on Cullen Boulevard. All morning, we've seen crews busy working to place these things down. This area is near Glenda Dawson High School. Now, police are expecting very heavy traffic here this afternoon, so they're asking visitors to please stand on the sidewalks and behind these barricades as they pay their final respects to Mr. Floyd, whose body will be escorted by Houston police following the private funeral to his final resting place at Houston Memorial gardens. He'll be buried next to his mother. The burial will be a private event for family and invited guests only. And here's something special, guys. We're told for the last mile to the cemetery, Mr. Floyd's body will travel by a horse-drawn carriage similar to the one you're seeing on your screens right now. So the public will be able to uh, watch and share in that touching moment. Now, Floyd's body is expected to arrive at the cemetery around one o'clock this afternoon, but that time could fluctuate. Uh, that's still an estimate right now. Police are also asking people to please maintain social distancing when they are watching that procession go by uh, by wearing masks, bringing hand sanitizers, you know, keeping that six feet distance. And it's going to be a scorcher today, guys. So be sure to stay hydrated. Do what you can to stay cool. Mm -hmm. Back to you. 
Good information, Michelle, because a lot of people had to be treated from the Houston Fire Department at the visitation yesterday. We don't want that, ha that to happen today, so bring your water. In the meantime, more than 6,300 people made their way to the Fountain of Praise Church to say goodbye to George Floyd. They came from all over Houston and across the country. Many attendees said they saw themselves in Floyd. Each person had their own deeply personal reason on why they had to attend. One man drove from Dallas after finishing this portrait. What he said, I can't breathe when he was crying for his mother. Uh, Halo symbolizing he went to heaven. I felt something deep down inside that I really needed to be here today. The people we spoke with said they hope Floyd's death helps change the country. Steph, as we've been saying today, once again, it is all eyes on Houston as people across the country honor the man who sparked a global movement. Houston City Hall still at crimson and gold overnight for Floyd and many others are following suit too. check out City Hall in New York City, adorning the Jack Gates High School colors where Floyd, of course, went to high school. And then there's Boathouse Row in Philadelphia. It's lit gold and an Oklahoma City Skydance Bridge also sporting the colors. And then back here at home, our stadiums paying tribute here, of course, is NRG. Last night and in Minute Maid, Floyd's picture with the words Black Lives Matter are displayed on the Megatron. It's kind of hard to see, but but there it is. And as you saw, thousands came to Floyd's public visitation yesterday, including Governor Greg Abbott, who met with his family, saying they are wonderful people and will be the centerpiece of helping America bridge racial divide and ensure equality, justice and fairness for everyone. And presidential candidate Joe Biden also met with his family yesterday. Take a listen to what he had to say. His little daughter was there. The one who said, Daddy's going to change the world, and I think her daddy is going to change the world. I think what's happened here is one of those great inflection points in American history, for real, in terms of civil liberties, civil rights, and, and just treating people with dignity. We asked you what you would say to Floyd if you could, and I want to share a couple with you right now. So the first one is from Raquel, and she says, Your life was important. Your death was not in vain. May God give you rest. And I want to end with this one. This is from Amy and says, his daughter said, you, as his daughter said, you changed the world. So thank you for sending those in, those into us. Keep them coming using the hashtag HTownRush. Steph. Some well thought out responses there. He has inspired a lot of people in our city and across the country. Lauren, thank you for that. And a reminder that today's service begins at 11 a.m. and our coverage begins for you at 10 a.m. You can also watch on KHOU.com and the KHOU 11 Facebook page. Now we want to get you to the day's other big stories, starting with more tributes for Floyd after yesterday's visitation. Hundreds of people showed up for a candlelight vigil at Jack Gates High School honoring the memory of George Floyd. One man says he believes that Floyd was divinely picked from this neighborhood and that this movement will change the world. And I could go and pick a young poor dude out the CUNY home, third ward, Texas, and he changed the world. Nationwide calls to defund police continues. Following a similar move in Los Angeles, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio vowed to cut funding to the police department. And city council members in Minneapolis have promised to do the same. If the city council here does pass that law, the state could intervene to try to stop it, but it's unclear whether it'll even get to that point. Bail for former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was set at more than $1 million. He appeared in court yesterday. He's charged with second degree murder in Floyd's death. Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson calls out his alma mater. He wants Clemson University to rename any university property honoring John C. Calhoun, a former slave owner. Former teammate DeAndre Hopkins made the same plea to the university. And those are the big stories on this Tuesday morning.